Here we have a model representing a valve downloaded from a manufacturer's website. The geometry has been created inside an AutoCAD environment and consists of a single 3D solid. We're going to import this file into a Revit family so that we can utilize the geometry inside of a pipe system. Inside of Revit, we shall begin by creating a new family using a generic model template. Next, we shall go to the Insert tab on the ribbon and select Import CAD on the Import panel. In the dialog box, we can navigate to where our DWG is stored, be it on a local desktop, server or cloud storage facility. If we then assess our geometry inside of a 3D view, we can see it has correctly imported our DWG file. If we select the geometry, we can choose to explode the file. What this does is it converts the DWG to a Revit freeform element, allowing us to apply materials and enabling further alterations if required. As we are creating a pipe system accessory, we need to define any pipe connection points. Our valve has an inlet and an outlet, thus two connection points. We shall define the locations via the use of work planes. Our first work plane is already in existence as it is where the geometry has been inserted, so we simply need to create a single plane on the opposite side of the object. Now we have our work planes, we can begin to insert the connection points. This is achieved by using the pipe connector tool under the connectors pane inside the create tab on the ribbon. What we can then do is insert the connections by using the pick a plane option and selecting our created work planes either side of the valve. Subsequently, we need to ensure the connections sit in the center of the pipe, so we may need to tweak the connection offsets and directions as shown. Finally, we need to make sure our connection data is correct via the use of the properties pane. This allows users to add elements such as flow direction, methods for loss, system classification, and so on. In the case of our valve, we want the connections to tie into another fitting, and we're going to assign a diameter of 200 millimeters to each connection point. This would be an appropriate time to save our progress, either locally to the PC or server, or alternatively to a cloud storage facility. As we created our model using a generic model family template, we need to assign a more suitable category to be used by a Revit system. We do this by going to the Modify tab and selecting the Family Category and Parameters options. Here we can ensure our family is categorized as a pipe accessory and it is to work how we expect it to in a system, such as the model being work plane based and that the part type is set to a valve. We can now include our newly created family inside of an RVT project file via the load family tool found beneath the insert tab on the ribbon. If we then go to the Systems tab and select Pipe Accessory, we can see our family is available to be used and placed inside of a water system. Our valve is now ready to be used in conjunction with other pipework parts and fittings, giving the audience a realistic outlook on any proposed design work. Revit allows users to include customised pipe sizes based upon various manufacturers and regional properties. Pipes in Revit work by applying schedules or lists to a particular pipe system family. 
If we select a pipe and click on Edit Type, we can change the allowable sizes by editing the routing preferences. If we then click on Segments and Sizes under the Routing Preferences menu, we can create a new list of pipe sizes from either a material, schedule or type, and a combination of both. For a complete customised list, we can delete the default sizes provided and start including our own. All we need to define here is the nominal, internal and outer diameters by repeatedly using the new size button. In this example, we're adding polyethylene pipe sizes taken from a specific manufacturer's website. Once all the pipe sizes have been included, we can hit the OK button. We then need to add our newly created schedule into the list of pipe segments and ensure we have the correct range of minimum and maximum pipe sizes suitable for our proposed water system. If we close all the menus by using the OK button, by selecting one of our already created pipes, we can see our new sizes are available inside of the list. Here we have an AutoCAD 3D solid representing a pipe coupling. This fitting allows a system to connect a polyethylene pipe to a flanged ductile iron pipe. Like our valve example, the DWG contains a single 3D solid. Inside of Revit, we're going to follow similar steps like we did with the valve accessory by creating a new family using the generic model template and saving it to our CAD library wherever this might be hosted. By going to the Insert tab and using the Import CAD tool, we shall insert our DWG geometry. Once inside of the family, we can explode the DWG file to create a single freeform element whereby we can add a materials parameter to the geometry. In order for us to use our family as a pipe fitting, we need to again include pipe connectors by first inserting work planes where we want the connection locations to occur, and then adding the pipe connectors via the Create tab and using our work planes as a reference. Subsequently, we need to ensure our pipe connection sits centrally to where we want the pipe to run and host the correct parameter inputs such as pipe diameters and system classifications. Our final step is to set the family category and parameters to the relevant settings, such as ensuring the object is work plane based and the part type is set to a mechanical coupling.
Now that we're happy with the fitting, we can insert the family into our RVT project file using the insert into project and close option beneath the modify tab. Using the system tools, we can add other fittings such as flanges to connect our valves and pipes together and use a combination of pipe sizes and materials as per our custom pipe sizes we created previously to create our water system.